Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to program this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using this Arduino Uno board. So let's get started. To program this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module we need some other components like mini breadboard and some jumper wires for connections. At first step, we need to remove this IC from the Arduino. Now take one male to male jumper wire and insert into 3.3 volt power supply pin of Arduino. Then insert another end into any of the point in breadboard. Now take two wires of male to female and insert into breadboard as shown. Connect these remaining ends of these wires into ESP8266's module where one wire is connected to 3.3V pin and another wire is connected to enable pin. Now take male to female jumper wire and insert one end into Arduino Uno ground terminal and insert another end into ESP8266 Wi-Fi module ground terminal. Now connect Arduino Uno RX pin to ESP8266 RX pin. Similarly, connect the TX pin of Arduino to ESP8266 TX pin. Now connect ZPIO 0 pin of ESP8266 module to ground pin of Arduino. Now connect Arduino Uno reset pin to ESP8266 reset pin. Open Arduino IDE software in the system and follow the steps as shown. Go to tools, then click board and select ESP8266. But there is no such option called ESP8266 module. So we need to install it manually by clicking on boards manager. Now type ESP8266 in the search bar. But we can see that there is no such option is showing. To fix this issue, just click on file then click on preferences option we can see that there is an option called additional boards manager url 
Now copy this link and paste it in that URL field. Then click on OK. Now we can see that it is downloading some files related to ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Then it will automatically shows the option called ESP8266 in the boards manager. Now click on install. Make sure that system should be connected to internet during this process. Now ESP8266 boards has successfully installed. Now again go to tools then click on board and we can see that there is an option called ESP8266. Now select generic ESP8266 module from the list. Then this option will change into generic ESP8266 module. Now close the boards manager and also clear the output. Connect Arduino board to the system to program this Wi-Fi module. Now press reset button on the Arduino board. Go to tools, click on port and select Arduino Uno. Here for my system it is showing COM46 number. For your system it will show different number. So select Arduino Uno. Once again check whether the port is correctly set to Arduino Uno. Now let's try to program this blank code into ESP8266 Wi-Fi module which is connected to Arduino Uno. Click on upload button which is located on top left corner. Now it will compile the sketch and start uploading the code. We can see that there is something showing in the output. If it is showing like this, writing it, then it is successfully uploading the code into ESP8266 module. Now it is showing done uploading. In this way, we can able to program different types of sketches into ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Now let's try to upload another program which blinks onboard LED of ESP266 for every one second. The Arduino D software comes with a lot of example programs. In that examples, we have that blink code as well. To open that blink code, just go to file, then click on examples and click on basics and select blink. Now it will open a new tab with the Blink program. Scroll down the code and maximize the tab. Here we can see the LED Blink program instructions. Before going to upload the code, check the settings in tools menu. So that the board should be selected to generic ESP8266 module and board should be selected to Arduino Uno. And one more setting that is built-in LED should be set to 1. That's it. Now upload the code. So it's showing done uploading. Even though we have uploaded the blink sketch, the LED on ESP8266 is not blinking. Basically ESP8266 has two modes of operation. One is programming mode and another one is normal mode. In programming mode, this module can't able to run the uploaded code. In this mode of operation, it is only for uploading the code and not for running the code. And another mode of operation is normal mode. In this mode, the module will run the uploaded code. Currently, this module is in programming mode. To change into normal mode, just remove the jumper wire which is connected to GPIO0. Now press reset button.
we can see that LED is blinking on ESP8266 module. Let's try to upload the code when ESP8266 is in normal mode. We can see that in the output it is showing some error and failed to upload the code. To set into programming mode, just reconnect the jumper wire into ZPIO 0 pin of ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Now press reset button. Upload the code now. So we can see that it is successfully uploading the code into ESP8266 Wi-Fi module without any error. Now remove the jumper wire which is connected to ZPIO 0 pin and click on reset button. So it will set to normal mode and runs the code. So to set to programming mode, reconnect the ZPIO 0 pin and click on reset button. So it will set to programming mode.